Hi everybody, this is Matthew with Indian Country Farms again. Uh, we're going to be uh, working some tomatoes here. We had them on the table last night. We were both just so tired we couldn't uh, even think about blanching. So we just cored them and quartered them and threw them in a pot, heated them up. Now we got skins in there. Well, we don't like skins in our salsa or ketchup or barbecue sauce or spaghetti sauce or any other thing that we can't get around to. So, Susan, why don't you tell the good folks what I'm about to do here? Okay, so what we're doing is we're putting the tomatoes into a food mill. And it's kind of like a sieve. And Pretty much we'll just get the tomato juice out of here. All the skins and everything that we don't want in our spaghetti sauce or salsa will stay up in the sieve or the mill. And uh, now we have made several batches this year. The tomatoes are really the only thing that's doing really well. We've got enough green beans to eat. We've got enough purple whole peas to eat. Got enough, uh, well, now that uh, Aztec corn, we still got a, about three quarters of a bushel over there. Uh, we've been grinding that in the cornmeal when we get a chance. It is larping good. It makes a uh, blue cornmeal. Black corn makes a blue cornmeal. And it's just really good. Uh, okra, uh, it's, we're getting a little bit more than uh, we can eat, but not much. But the tomatoes are putting on like crazy. Now we did a little thought, got them, got them some shade. We're kind of expecting a hot, dry year this this year. It's, it's been going that way. You can see there how it's getting uh, pushing that cooked meat, that very well cooked meat of the tomato, not beef or anything, meat of the tomato. Through that little screen down there, can you see the hose in the screen? Mm -hmm. okay. Hands are scrumptiously clean. And uh, we're saving them skins up out of there. We made several batches of ketchup. What did we go over all ago? Ketchup. We did ketchup and salsa and... Um, barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce. A couple of different kinds of salsa. We got the, the plain salsa. And we got the uh, salsa with peaches. Uh, so that's all. That is all fine and good. Uh, made one pickled okra just because we had a little okra on the table when we needed one more jar to balance out that, that uh, hot water bath. Yeah, well, they gotta be balanced with it, just don't worry. But anyway, this, I forgot that we had this, and we were discussing, well, what are we gonna do about them skins? Pick this up, it's the first time we've used it. I picked this up last year at an auction. Last year, the gardens did not do well around here. The drought ate us up. And, uh, so we didn't get to use this last year. This little mill, Cost me two dollars at an auction. Two dollars. Two dollars. And how there. much do they normally cost? Uh, I looked it up when I got home. It's something like fifty or sixty bucks. So uh, this is a really good one. It's got interchangeable. That screen down there is interchangeable. We just pulled this out of storage and washed it all up. It's got two finer screens, but uh, like one screen can help. With yep. the seeds. And yep, that one will get out most seeds. It's very fine. That one, uh, well, I get out a lot of seeds. But uh, we figured, well, we don't really need to find it out. And the tomatoes are cooked, so the meat's going to go in pretty, go through pretty good. And as you can see, it's doing a very good job. For $2. For $2. So, uh, hey, man, auctions, estate sales. Uh, yard sales, we get some of our best stuff in places like this. Absolutely. Uh, we've got some of the best ironware ever made from just those sources. Got back at it every once in a while. We uh, like Craigslist, and those mm -hmm. are fun, fun places to buy things too. Oh, yeah. 
she got uh, called me one time. She was working up at the airport, and uh, about 120 today. miles from here, called me and said, uh, "There's a yard sale across the across the road. You ought to go take a look." What was my reply? Your reply was, "I'm already there." But how did you know? <laughs> the people yeah. across the road advertised on Craigslist oh, and what we got was a nice little roll top desk yeah. like pay $20 for that uh-huh mm -hmm. it's not a large one it's it's just a little secretary type we like it I think our best deal at uh, an estate sale though was the treadle sewing machine that I got last year yeah Still got to get it finalized, uh, or finalized, what I mean is, uh, yeah, there was a, a electric motor added on to it. A lot of them were made where you could add an electric motor in the later years. I know, this one had one they had put on because Mama was getting old, couldn't treadle no more, and they kept apologizing that that motor was out. Of course, we give them the $20 and got it in the back of the Jeep just as fast as we could. <laughs> and uh, first opportunity I get, that motor's coming off and the belt's going back on. I went over to my friend's house. She just happens to be Amish, and they sell belts over at her store. <laughs> yeah, that, that came out really well. Uh, but, you know, we have a lot of grid problems around here. You know, folks... Uh, Folks talk about a grid down situation. Well, that we have four or five of those every year. So uh, it's just a good idea to be prepared whenever you're living way out here. And where are we? In the boondoggles. Oh, we're on Indian Country Farm. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think that wraps us up. Susan, thanks a lot for operating the camp. camera for me and our, uh, the rest of our production crews laying over there on the on the floor. There they are. It's so hot out today, it got up over 100. They're just sitting over here on the floor. Thank y'all for showing up. Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye.